Hello everyone, this tutorial here will show you how to change layer symbology as well as layer colors. In the layer dialog box, you have the option of actually turning on or turning off layers. So for instance, for this row layer, uh, if you click on the, on, the on the checked off box, then you have the option of actually uh, disabling it or hiding it from the map. In order to actually access the layer properties, you need to double click either on the on the symbol icon, which is, in this case would be the color box, or you can right click on the layer and choose properties. For layer customization in QGIS, there are a bunch of different options. Uh, there's also very diff various different uh, ways that you can approach this. For instance, you could choose single symbol, which is just one standard flat color. You could choose categorize, which is essentially qualitative data which is organized basically into types. So for example, if I were to pick state name and then classify each one, since every one of them is a different name, they're all, ca they're all uh, assumed to be a different category. Finally, we have graduate colors, which basically uh, create a range of colors with lighter slash brighter colors representing low values and darker colors representing higher values you also have the option of actually selecting uh, an appropriate number of classes. Uh, having more classes will guarantee you a much greater spread of your data. Uh, typically most maps include only five to seven classes. You can also change the different mode of them. For instance, you could have equal, ve uh, excuse me, equal interval, which essentially divides uh, the total range from the first value to last value into equal parts. Uh, quantiles, which make sure that each range of intervals have a set number of features inside of them, and natural breaks, which quote unquote naturally um, selects and cuts off the numbers at appropriate intervals. Now, I'm going to select an area here just to use an example that you can also change the legend values. And also, when you change this, it will also appear in the left uh, dialog box. So, for this very small range, since I don't like these very large numbers, I'm just going to type in very small. Uh, small, average, large, and very large. By clicking on apply, we can now see the um, visual change to our map as well as the visual change to our legend in the dialog box to the left. After I click on OK, I'm going to zoom in to various parts of the map and just see the changes I made. As you can see, as you zoom in with the map, the um, the city points actually get smaller to, co to coincide with the scale. Now I think the next um, layer I'm going to change is actually the road layer, since I know it's in that cyan color and it won't look very good compared to the background with the white and the dark blue uh, color scheme. But before that though, we need to export our layer actually as a vector file. We can actually export it as a, as a shape file, which I will actually uh, output it into this folder, the, our, my current working folder. To open the dialog box, which I actually forgot to uh, explain, all you have to do is right click on the layer itself and choose save as. Now once I'm finished typing in the name of this uh, shapefile, what I want to do is, um, is to uncheck a specific box. That box is uh, add layer to, uh, to map. If it, now if, if I don't uncheck this, it will actually add a duplicate layer to my map, and I don't want that. So for the time being, I'll uncheck it and I will hit OK. And then, as you can see from this little, this little box right here, my layer has actually now been saved within that folder. Each type of vector file actually has like their own specific customization options. As you can see, uh, there, are, there are a ton of different road uh, options that you can choose from, road or river, depending on your preference. Now, for I think for road class, uh, since there are different types of road, I think we should definitely choose that and have it as a category. Since, it, it, since it's already difficult to see the roads as they are, let's go ahead and uh, manually change their colors and just experiment. I mean, 
For QGIS, do not be afraid to experiment with, with different options because you may actually find a result that might, more or less might work for your data. Something I actually forgot to mention um, was that you can also change the width of the lines too. And this is something I actually forgot to do for my final, I guess you could see my final uh, road layer. The type 1 roads, which are actually in orange, I forgot to uh, actually make them uh, increase the width to make them larger so you can actually see them better. But for now, let's move on to uh, our point option, which again, they the points also have their own various preset options and what I, what I also do however here is actually I also scroll through the category as well as the graduate colors just to see what options they would have um, it's mostly just the same but it would also very it would seem also kind of kind of odd if you were to um, have graduate colors for points in this case but for now let's go ahead and choose the city option and let's make them stand out with a light green color And this concludes this uh, tutorial. Thank you for watching.